right, we're going to go over playing finger symbols. Now, um, in some in traditional manners of playing finger symbols, they are called finger symbols because you would strap them around your fingers between your one on your thumb and one on your one of the other fingers and hit them together. But in modern percussion, we don't ever do this. At least I don't, and I've never seen anybody do it. And I would try to reproduce that for you, but I just discovered today that my straps on my uh, finger symbols are actually old and falling apart. But the symbols are really nice. I like them. So, um, you know, there's a couple ways you could approach playing this. You could play them like you would crash symbols. So that would be traditional crash symbols. But I've also seen people do it this way too. So I'm just going to say it's up to the type of sound that you want to create. That's not as harsh, but it's pretty. This has got more of an attack to it. And you can get more strength and power out of it. So these are finger cymbals. Very, very small. Very, very thick. Huge bells on them. If you're a cymbal person, you understand that. Huge bells relative to its size. They're very thick. Loud cymbals. And they gotta be, because they have to carry over orchestras and bands. And they're pretty awesome. I think they're cool. I don't get to play these enough.